How you guys doing today? My name is John with After Dark Vaping, a uh, new YouTube channel, uh, trying to make a name for itself in the vaping community. Um, I decided to kick off my venture into video blogging and reviewing of products um, with a what hopefully will become a classic vaping mod. Uh, so without uh, further ado, this is not a brand new mod. Uh, it's been on the market for as long as I've been in vaping uh, for probably about seven months now. Uh, let's see, it's uh, the beginning of May 2014, so uh, the vaping community's been around for a while. So, um, so what I have for you is my review on the iTaste 134. So, let's get the webcam moved. Alright, so as you can see, it comes in this really nice... Uh, hard shell box. Um, I've had this mod for probably six months. Um, opened up. There is a manual that normally comes with it. I don't have the manual anymore. Who knows where it is uh, before the video is over. I'll show you why I don't know where it is. But anyway, uh, in the mod you get an iClear 30 um, basic tank. Uh, right now I've just got some basic uh, I think it's Ayers um, Kahlua flavoring in it and this big bad boy is huge okay uh, to give you an idea there's a sharpie this thing is huge comes with a standard 510 connection and a removable ring so you can add uh, different styles of tanks. Um, it does have uh, variable wattage, uh, 6.5 up to 12.5. Uh, I taste is for me. I taste has become uh, a product I go after instead of the the clones and stuff like that. I like the eye tastes. Uh, the quality is definitely there. As you can see, I have vaped on this thing to remove the chrome plating. I have vaped on it that much. On the button, you can see that the button is no longer glossy. But this is actually a pretty good video of the eye taste 134. It does hold a standard 18650 type battery. Um, it is a smart mod, so it does not need to be protected. It will not work if you're under ohming. It will just flash at you and not work. Um, I wouldn't suggest uh, taking long hits on plumes, plume tanks, RDAs with this anyway. You want a higher higher wattage. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is just my my first video, foot in the door kind of thing. Uh, do me a favor, rate, review, like. Um, I've got a lot of other uh, toys that I can do reviews on for you. Um, I'm just now getting into uh, coil building and RDA rebuilding, stuff like that. As you can see back here, uh, this is about three quarters of my my um, my vaping collection. Uh, I definitely have gone from a a quitting smoking phase of 15 years, pack pack and a half, two packs a day, to uh, vaping uh, for leisure and flavor and nostalgia. I mean, it's definitely takes the cake when it comes to uh, smoking. Uh, smoking's out. I mean, I'm reading articles left and right about how uh, companies, I just read an article in the UK, a company um, in the UK, uh, the CEO decided to go out and buy 100 vaporizing 
devices is what they called it. Uh, but they're, they're, they're just ego twists is what they were. A um, hundred of them, and they allow their employees to use them there in the office. So uh, I think with the positive communication, uh, it's, it's moving in the right direction. There's still a lot of opposition, but uh, there's a lot of hearsay and, and questionable reasons as to why there's all this opposition. But uh, I get into that when I get a little more comfortable making videos for you guys. Um, but anyway, back to the, the vape. Uh, I run my, my 134 with a Nautilus tank and an extended drip tip. Um, I have the 134 mainly because uh, I'm a gun enthusiast. I do a lot of air softing. Uh, I, I know three people with these, these mods. So um, uh, in it right now is a product that I would like to promote uh, without any, any benefit to myself. Uh, I don't get any products from any vape companies. So um, the, the juice that I'm, that I'm vaping in this is Greenleaf Vanilla 18. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Vanilla 18. Um, this is a lot different than, than uh, regular, uh, like a French vanilla from Air or, or some of the other vanillas. I found that, um, that this gives the true vanilla flavor instead of like a coffee vanilla. Um, and that is the only flavor that's ever been used in this. Uh, the Nautilus comes with a Pyrex tank. It'll go up to 5 milliliters. Uh, you can stuff it a little more. I wouldn't. Um, this thing is flawless. It's the only tank I've really ever used on this since I got it. The Nautilus. Um, and the reason is because I noticed that my contact pin continues to stay clean. I've never had to clean it with the Nautilus. The Nautilus has a spring in the bottom of the 510 connection to make the, the connection for the actual coil. So uh, I don't know. I'd have to tear further into the the base call it to find out what really uh, they do but I mean sitting on 6.5 running a 50-50 blend of uh, green leaf vanilla uh, 1.8 helps if I turn it on I forgot I pulled the battery out It's not a big plumer. I mean, if you if you look, it's really liquidy. So they've definitely got a lot of PG in here. Um, they say it's 50-50. I think it's a little higher PG. Or, yeah, no, VG, sorry. I think it's a little higher. No, I was right the first time. I think it's a little higher PG. Because um, it's not syrupy at all like any of the high VG stuff that I use. But, uh, but yeah. So the 134 uh, from iTaste, definitely worth the pennies that you put into it. Certainly not pennies, dollars. Um, high quality, high quality. I've dropped this thing. I've uh, I spilled a soda pop on it once, and it still works uh, six months later. Uh, and I don't even know how many toots I've taken off of it, but I know I've gone through uh six or seven 30 mil bottles in about five months so um so yeah i'm definitely getting my money out of it but uh but yeah i de definitely recommend if somebody's looking for for a, a larger uh, eye catcher definitely the 134 um but uh, but yeah anyway go ahead and do me a favor like subscribe uh, share my videos, uh, give me feedback, tell me I'm an idiot, tell me I'm doing stuff wrong, tell me I'm getting the words wrong, I already know that, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not editing these, I'm just putting them straight up, uh, unlike my airsoft videos where I spend hours and hours and hours editing, I'm not going to do that here, but, uh, but yeah, uh, let me know, anyway, hopefully you guys like it,
and hopefully I do a lot more of these. So uh, keep updated and see you on the next video.